Or again, this is a British 1856-58 Yatagan bayonet for the Enfield rifle. Um, Yatagan is from the Turkish, meaning a short sword with no handguard and a blade that kind of recurves back on itself. And that perfectly describes this particular pattern of bayonet. And the bayonet was issued for quite a long time and you will find variations of it. The only marking on this is a knight in armour, which I think is the trademark of Solingen. Solingen made a lot of these blades. Sometimes you'll get these etched up and marked and stamped to the artillery volunteers or a, some sort of volunteer unit. This is just a regular issue bayonet. Um, the pattern of bayonet was issued for many, many years. And the particular pattern and particular rifle it was issued for is all designated by the the cutout mount on the top of the handguard you know where the rifle where the bayonet clips to the rifle you'll get many variants in the design quite a nice impressive looking piece of kit it's got your blade here which curves down and partial blade there cross guard usually two piece leather grips one on each side held by three rivets the spring that holds the locking mechanism into the gun is in this occasion held by a screw which indicates it being the 1856 to 58 pattern and when you actually look at it that way on looking at it that way on denotes what rifle it was for you can get seven or eight variants in that mount at the back it the mount at the back on this one it's kind of square but sometimes that square will be a circle it will sometimes be a bigger square or a smaller square all down to what rifle it was actually made for so that's where you get your variations you also maybe get issue stamps on the back here but the actual model of bayonet is denoted by how the spring is fixed and the shape of the gap particularly this bit at the back for the rifle now all of them will come with this pattern of cross guard this pattern of bayonet these pattern of grips you see there's one leather grip there three rivets leather grip there three rivets that'll be standard and the only marking on this one, you see there's nothing there. The only marking there is the knight. Sometimes you get the fancily etched up to a, a volunteer unit, but more often than not you won't. Um, until I think about 1853, all British bayonets were custom made for the particular rifle they went on you know nobody was knocking these out in a factory like you would a, a world war ii pig sticker bayonet and a pig sticker bayonet would go on a, a rifle or a machine gun and another one out the same box would go on the same rifle not so with pre-1853 british bayonets um pre-1853 british bayonets were all, always made custom made for a particular rifle so you could have two bayonets of the same model and they would not fit exactly the same rifle. There would be slight variations. Well, yeah, that's a nice example of an 1856-58 Yatagan bayonet for the 1850s Enfield. And you would also encounter these in America because obviously... A lot of these things would go to equip the Confederate States in the American Civil War on the Enfield rifles. But Yatagan, Turkish, 
for short sword without a hand grip and it's one of those bayonets that as well as being a bayonet on the end of a gun you could you could actually use it with that recurved blade as a bit of a a handheld fighting weapon as well and again it's something in the UK you almost always encounter them without a scabbard so yeah really nice piece of kit well for now